Hello and welcome to episode 16. <coughs> this guy's uh, fascination with the portal is unreal. Oh, I wish that truck would shut up. <laughs> so yeah, how's everyone been doing? Sorry I didn't release yesterday. It's messing around with 1.3 a lot. So, I built a bit this morning. Expanded the front here from, you know, from here. I pushed out. Nice little uh, front space here for us. Did some nice little decorations here as well. I think it looks quite nice. Right, first things first. I've been leaving this till I started recording and I haven't farmed it all day. There's about 70 of them in there almost probably. <laughs> hey, who said circles weren't possible in Minecraft? Okay, there's about 50 there. So loud. All right, we got just over three stacks. Sweet. Chuck these in here. That was so loud. Wow. Righty. So what we're gonna do today is. Do you want to know what we're gonna do? Because I think you do. We're gonna do some more house building. Bum bum bum. Hey. You never guess what? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I got another one. <laughs> uh, I got another freaking Fortune 3 pick. Seriously, I don't need them and I get them. It's like troll all. Oh, I dug this as well. So that we can easily make our way over to the mobs. gonna enchant a sword later on hopefully I can get one with looting on it so I can trash all these guys out and get tons of food but they're no issue right now so the golem farms you know looking quite uh, horrific right now I guess yeah they are they're large they really are large So yeah, let's make a start on the expansions to the house. Well, first things first is we need to go grab stuff. No, you no run away. You sell me picks later, okay, bro? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, what do I need to do? First of all, let's make another stack of iron blocks. <laughs> Oh wow, well, my brother's being loud again. I'm sorry. Oh my god. He's screaming like a baby. I really, really do apologize if you guys can hear that. Let's make a stack of iron chest plates. No, let's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stack number three. It's quite nice, you know. Iron is useful for armor and decoration. Yeah. Right, let's get building. Probably gonna need some more logs. I think I turned them all into planks. Let's grab all that. Okay, that's all the logs I have. And I don't want the jungle. Those are for cocoa beans that I plan to plant later. Um. Huh. saplings and bone meal I'm gonna have to BRB and I'll go grab some more trees see you in a bit guys punching trees all right <laughs> so this is how you waste a decent pickaxe <laughs> see so, yeah how's everyone enjoying 1.3 because I'm liking it can't wait to do some uh, fun online things with friends. So someone told me on my Skype list, hi by the way, if I did that, I won't get any of the giant trees. So far so good. So let's try it again. One, two. Thought that was a big one and I was like, no. 
Ah, suck in the leaves. So glad you can't suffocate from them. There we go. Punching, punching trees. What a time! What a way to waste time. I think this will be the. This will do. Got about a stack now. I'll go get more if I need to. But basically, we're gonna make a an outdoor area for the testificates. Because, you know, those guys have been trapped inside all the time, and it's not nice for them. <sighs> I thought I'd give them somewhere nice to go and spend their days being testificates and stuff. Just chilling out and relaxing. So, I'm gonna put that... Ha! Huh, where can I put that? Over there, maybe? No, because it would interfere with that, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, it's gonna have to be over the other side. I'm gonna have to put it over here, probably. It won't be a big area, but it'll be nice and protected so they can't die to zombies. And I'll replace these doors with wooden ones so they can walk in and out. Yeah, I think that'll do the job. Oh, hey, an apple. Clop. I didn't get the apple. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> So yeah, I have, well, I'm getting close to 50 subscribers now. Thank you all. Thank you all. And, well, looks like I might need to get my texture pack ready for releasing. Just do a couple of uh, checks to see if I can use some of the textures I've got, because it is a private pack. So, I have some textures from Mises' texture pack. I mean, the water is, uh, the water lava is from her pack. So is the fire and portal, I believe. So I could not do the custom textures. They took, they just take too long and are confusing. It just drove me nuts when I tried to do them. So yeah, I kind of borrowed those. Um, and the, I used the faithful pack as a template. So what I will do, if I hit 50 subscribers, which I probably will, I hope I do anyway. Um, I'll do a little special, give you a sort of a, a showcase of what all the blocks look like, uh, what all the items look like, and yeah. I'll maybe even release a little showcase map as well for you guys to show off your own texture packs, because I'll make it nice and detailed. Right, let's run down here. Fences. Uh, how are we going to do this? I don't want zombies to be able to come along here and go hop, nom nom nom, all the zombies. So. Oh, by the way, you know you could do that. You can place like other blocks or grasses. It's weird. Uh, I'll put dirt down here in a bit. I did bring some with me. Yes, I did. Okay. How big am I making this? Now oh, that is a good question. Because I, I was thinking originally that I'd leave the no testificates in the house, but I kind of got like. You know, used to having them there, and I enjoyed having them there. You know, they're a really cool little addition to the home. So, I thought, why not? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep them. This should be big enough for a bit. Walking on top of fences. Oh, it's going coming dark. Yay! Should be safe here. So, in the HD tex texture pack fix there's an option for better skies and looking at the sky right now and all that over there it is totally worth it also good job on the smaller stars Mojang or Mojang however they want, to, want it to be said Mojang 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 <laughs> same thing right I'll fill this in here gonna have to remove this path because first of all it doesn't fit and yeah there's more golems in there already wow so within like the first day of minecraft's 1.3 release the coders pack which i believe most of the you know the mods you guys use are in or you know are part of for example optifine which i will be using it i love its 
uh, bump mapping feature. It kind of makes everything look a little bit more, or look less detailed from afar, and it makes it look much better. I don't need it for the FPS boost because I record at 30 FPS, which is perfectly fine. In fact, there's points where sometimes my FPS goes up to 40. We just did a second ago, that was kind of weird. Um, I got the Fraps FPS thing in the corner here, you won't be able to see it, but... What did I come down here for? Just to sleep? Uh, no. Yeah, that's what I came down for. So, the skeleton farm. That thing is a really great experience farm, even though it's not, you know, the quickest. But I am seriously looking forward to episode whatever the hell we're going to go to the end in and kill the dragon. Because then I can get to work on an enderman farm. Which will be great. So we have one of those. Um, we can go to level 30 in like a minute. So we can enchant all that we need to. Instead of me having to AFK the skelly farm for like an hour. I need a way out of here, don't I? <sighs> oh, I left this workbench here. I remember putting that there a long time ago. One, two, one, two, one, two. But yeah, since 1.3 is out, I gotta do some work on my texture pack and get it fully updated. That's the creative inventory and all that other parts because I was still using it on 1.2.5. So if I upgraded the creative inventory, it would look really weird. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, fortune on gravel. If you didn't know, you get you get flint every single time. Oh, beep beep t two. <laughs> another golem, and another golem. This thing is so fast. Thank you very much for the tutorial, Doc M. <laughs> Right, zombies shouldn't be able to get into here now. Move this thing. Where am I going to put this? Let's make the jump for it. Oh wait, of course I put the fence gate here, didn't I? <laughs> right, drop that one there. No, that's not a good idea, because the certificates will be able to leave. Ah, must make mind up. I really like that hut. Looks great. Oh, another one came down. Oh wow! Ah, I'll put the, ta the table there. All right, zombies should not be able to get in here. By the way, this thing here is how I got all of my uh, my cobblestone for the cobble generator. Get in here. It's a piece of obsidian there. I sat here with uh, a pickaxe and just. Yeah, left it go for ages. It's a smooth stone generator. Uh, the block above, you just place a ladder there, creates a smooth stone, break it, then it'll, another one will appear. I just stood there AFK with a an auto clicker on. Uh, came back, my inventory was full of cobble. Did it again, and it was enough to build most of it. And then I just had other cobble lying around. Right. Um, so let's let these guys roam. I wonder what happened if I dropped doors on here. This, this, oh, god damn it. Inventory's full again. Put this here. Right. Hey, you guys, you gonna go outside? <laughs> hmm. Where would the iron doors go? In misc, right? Yeah, I guess. I collected some clay earlier on, too. Also got some of that from the other place and the Wait. Did I put bows in there as well? Oh man, I have too many bows. Seriously, I think I have like over a chest of bows now. There's loads at the skelly farm. That fire noise disturbs me every time I hear it. It's like I'm gonna die. But then I realize the fire is for the portal. Wood related. Anything made of wood. I wish we could stack doors. Just maybe up to 16, like, signs? Possibility, Jeb? Notch? Anyone? People that love us? Right, I drop these here. Open them. These guys should detect them as part of their new village and hopefully roam here. 
And of course, I need to light the area up. I need more torches. So that if I'm not in radius, zombies don't appear here and munch the doors down and kill all the villagers. But I heard a rumor that in 1.4, if a zombie attacks a villager, they will become infected and turn into another zombie. And then if a zombie eats a baby villager, you'll have baby zombies. Which kind of sounds cute, but... Coal. So yeah. I don't know. It does sound kind of cool, but creepy at the same time. Torches. Oh, whoops, I made too many. Oh, I turned them all into torches. Uh... Need to put the coal away. <laughs> For coal. Ah, screw the seeds. We don't need those. My uh, my lack of good storage is just ugh, drives me crazy. Why do I have so many levers? No idea. Um. Plants, plants, plants. Right, so there's our little outside zone done for the villagers. Ah, blah, 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 pukey, pukey, pukey. So have any of them gone outside yet? Oh, I hope they do. Yeah, they got the opportunity to. So anyway, I guess now is a opportunity for me to... Look at them all in there so far. Show you kind of what, what, what's going on up here. Because I have, I did link the tutorial, and I think it was episode thirteen or twelve or something. But if you search up Doc M's channel, you can quite easily find it. Basically, each one of these select, each one of these chambers has four villagers in. Okay, you just drop two in there, and then they breed into four. But as I was making these towers before I got them in, the villagers in the house were going ballistic, and then there's loads of them there. But yeah, each of them have four. Those all are the same. Uh, you have doors on the outside, and then there's two spawning platforms. This one, and then there's one underneath. You can see the water there. Look, exactly the same. Uh, they all spawn in here, go down the, uh oh, go down the middle, and get flushed into our trap. Oh, not really the trap. Our collection point, the lava, because these things they take forever to suffocate. I mean, it takes a good, sometimes up to a minute. 45 seconds to suffocate them. This lava blade gets them down to two hearts. Down from however many the heck they have. And they then become super easy for us to kill. Just by crushing them. Like so. Super quick crushing. And boom. Drop the roses in there. We got 54 more iron ingots. But I don't know what to build with the iron though. It's just it's a kind of nice thing to go ahead and have. Um yeah. Ah <sighs> collect all the seeds. So house expansions, house expansions, what should we do? <laughs> well, I guess we could, since I have wood, logs, no cobble. And a cobble chest. I'll grab. Oh, I'm going to throw most of the stuff away. Not away, but I'm just going to store it all. Right. Don't need a lava bucket. Don't need fish. Don't need flint. Oh, that doesn't go in there, does it? Neither does that go in there. Oh, I'm doing this all wrong. Rage. Um, anything could go in misc in this chest? Nope. Oh, mob drops. Don't need arrows. Don't need fishing rod. Um. Ha! Huh. I don't need a flint and steel. I can go in there. Uh, logs. Well, I don't need these. So I can go in there. It's just numbs out our inventory a little bit. 
more flint than I do gravel. I wish you could make flint into more things than just, uh, what is it? Actually, I think you use flint uh, to make writable books. Is it becoming night again already? Really? Down we go again. <laughs> we need a quicker way. Right. Ah. Let me sleep. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. <laughs> so. Let's get rocking. More house expansions. I'm going to get some of this done. Probably finish the rest of it off camera because it's going to be too long for us to do, but it'll be fine. So, which, what, what and where should we expand? I think we should expand here. Do like a small room here. If I do a layout of cobble. This will just be a small floor. Oh wait, no, that's not a good idea to do. Because the golem farms, we don't want to interrupt with them. Ah! Rage, ragey rage. Rage, rage, rage. Face. I think I have enough reeds, guys. Just, just, just a heads up. I don't know what to do with them. I probably will just find testificates that want to buy paper and sell them. Inventories of paper at a time. Golem! <laughs> right, I have an idea. It involves this going. I'll build a new one soon, don't worry. Build one out of the way. We're going to combine the old house there with this house here. Because we need a big house for no apparent reason. Yeah. I ran out of dirt. God damn it. Eh. There. No. Dirt is lost forever. Can't reach. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we do need a monster spawner tower soon. Like a mob trap. Now, what I probably will do, just for the point of keeping big things in one area. I might do it above here. Big tower all the way up to like old sky limit and just have them go down. I'll probably get them killed before they come even anywhere close to that. So that we'll just better collect their drops there. So I'm going to tidy this area up a bit, flatten it out with some more dirt and I'll be back then. So it seems this video is already about 25 minutes or 23 ish. That's surprising. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a few minutes. I won't build all of this today. I'll just kind of get started for us. And we can go then. I thought someone mentioned to me that I don't build enough on camera or don't do enough on camera, so I hope this is enough. You know, pretty much everything I've done today in this episode has been on camera. But again, if you want to complain more, feel free. I just realized I'm placing dirt here and I'm going to need to turn all of this into wood. Rage. <laughs> right. So, cobble, 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 cobble. Cobble everything here. Um, now how wide is this room? all the way to the wood, so I can just put... This will do. Gives us a perfectly symmetrical corridor. Uh, I'll build a... Um, something to get down there. I don't know what yet. But we have now another house. Well, the house is now cons gonna be considerably bigger on multiple scales. I may need to tear this house down though because I think it's too high in comparison to the other one. Put that there for a minute. So I mean if you look I think you can see that it is one block higher. 
I, I should be able to get it to work. I'll do some uh, trickery and master hacks or something. I'll just I'll just merge it as much as as good as I can. You know we can't have everything perfect. I'm running out of dirt again, by the way. <laughs> oh, there's a ladder there, that's why I couldn't place one. Nom 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 nom. All right, so probably gonna have to end the episode here. I won't do much more of this, and I'll continue in next episode, in episode 17. I will get, you know, the base of it down. I'll probably get some of the walls down and the floor, because that's just placing. Yeah? Uh, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll be back again next time, whenever the heck I decide to record. I think I'm gonna probably numb it down to possibly every other day, or every day. Depends. Because I have lots of random things that I could do that sometimes I don't have the time to record. Oh, yeah, it is one block higher, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I'll lower the floor one down. I know I can do that. This should be cobble. Cobble. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.